Yo, what is up you guys? We're gonna be watching another Sunday V2 video about who's the worst family channel in YouTube history. We're gonna get right into this because I hate family channels and I am uh, interested with the crowd opinions on family channels, especially Sunday V2s because I haven't really watched a video about family channels yet. These are the five worst family channels in YouTube history. And coming in at number five is the Prince family, who would quite literally give up their own children for a couple extra views. The oh, parents beyond no. Damien gain an audience by peddling the most atrocious clickbait you might ever witness. Take hell? for example this video titled Pray for the Prince Family House Firefighters Pulled Up, with a thumbnail implying that the house had caught on fire. In all actuality, their house-related emergency was a leaking pipe in the backyard, which was fixed not with a firefighting crew, but rather by turning the tap off. In a different video they'd clickbait, my car got repoed, we're going broke. Although after clicking on the video, you'll find that the car was simply being taken to a mechanic as a result of a flat battery. On top of this, they've literally uploaded more than 10 extremely serious videos stating that they're breaking up without ever actually doing so. Bro, they've done this so many times. I remember they beefed with Blasphemous HD. Y'all remember that? Uh, where he was like watching the pregnant video and like Blasphemous was like, oh yeah, this shit's fake as hell. Like he was saying, like he he was insinuating like it was fake, which it was. It was hundred percent fake. That video was fake as hell. And then like DMB freaking um, they they was beefing with uh this dude for a minute, bro. They, I I think the print that uh, yeah they was beefing with um Dante. It was beefing with a couple of reactors. I'm not gonna lie, that shit was so funny and stupid. I was just sitting there. I was just like, bro, what the, f what the hell? <laughs> that was a that was a weird era. Pranksters, but man. even then this is nothing compared to how they use their children and pregnancies to get extra clicks. The scummiest oh. example is this video titled No Heartbeat, with fuck? a thumbnail of a pregnant Bianca going into an ambulance, implying that perhaps their baby had died. When you watch the video, however, it's explained that Bianca simply had a bladder infection, which moved the position of the baby in her womb. They couldn't find her heartbeat at first because she moved so much. The baby keeps moving. Then in this video titled, We got into a car accident at 32 weeks pregnant, she freaked out. Ooh. The bro, no, no, bro, dude, these people have no fucking morals. This is insane. Prince family implied that they'd crashed the Lambo and put their unborn baby in danger, when in all reality, they'd simply gotten a couple of scratches at the rear of the vehicle. Although it'd be when the baby was born that they'd become even scummier, beginning with Bianca implying that she wasn't happy with the baby's physical appearance just moments after giving birth. She's got brown eyes, for sure. I thought children have pretty eyes. Bright blue eyes. She do got pretty eyes. What? Her ears. Look at her. Imagine this bitch wanted blue eyes. Nigga, y'all both black. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Do black people even have blue eyes? I don't even know. I know I don't. Uh, is he black? I don't know. Is he Latin? I. I don't know. What is her race? Latin. I don't even think Latinas have blue eyes, right? I don't even know. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Being one hour old and your parents are obsessing over your skin slash eye color, the nurse had to remind them that she's a beautiful baby. If you mix this in with more clickbait about Damien not being the father, it's no surprise that they'd state CPS almost took our kids from us, although this video was also clickbait, as they'd spend the entire 36 minutes doing a mukbang without ever addressing the title. While it's hard to call wow. their content noble, the Prince family haven't really hurt anyone with their untruthful videos, although the same can't be said for the royalty family. The household consisting of Mother Andrea, Father Ali, and their son Faran employ much of the same tactics as the Prince family, although with the added bonus of extremely fake videos, often made with the purpose of justifying poor choices. For example, in mid-2019, they'd upload a video titled, Why is this happening to our family, the truth? In which they'd fake a scenario where fans were showing up at their house. Hey bro, why are you taking pictures of my house? Hey bro, why are you taking pictures of my house? I love the show, bro. You think that's cool, bro? So they could then announce in the very next video that they were buying a mansion. Yeah, they not go be happy when that shit actually happens though. I'm gonna just say that right now. Not with not not wishing on that, but if something does happen like that ever, uh, nobody's gonna be happy. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Damn these these damn I didn't know these family channels were that bad. God Lee. I didn't know they were this terrible. 
Jesus Christ. Here's the thing. I never watched family channels growing up. The only ones I do remember was the Prince family because of just that beef that they had with like Blasphemous HD, which was like kind of weird out of nowhere left field because of the whole pregnant video, which was like five fucking years ago or four. I can't even I can't even remember at this point. It was when like Bianca was like on the table. She said she was she was in labor or something, and like Damien was pissed about because he had to pick his fucking pants up or something. I don't know. It was, it was the weirdest shit of beef. But that's that's really what I remember from a Family Channel. I don't remember any of these people like or royalties. I, I don't uh, I don't know. Once in their mansion, that stage another oh, video where a elbow. homeless person had broken into their back house, leading Ali to become the hero by giving the homeless guy money. Yep. I don't want him to stay on the streets. Can't be selfish. Uh, I'm going to give you some cash, but I'm going to need you to leave, all right? Only four months later, their back house was actually broken into by a real intruder, leading them to show their true colors by giving a totally different response. Are you serious, bro? Going to people's homes and sleeping in the back? Are you serious? Call the cops. With these videos also hinting at their next major problem, extreme materialism. Their channel achieved most of its growth through videos spoiling their son beyond belief. For example, eight-year-old takes parents' credit card no budget at mall, throwing a dart on a map and buying whatever it lands on, and if you guess the price I'll buy it for you challenge, in which they spend up to $1,000 on brand name clothing for their child, just so they can make a viral video. That's crazy, bro, because they really made all that money back. Probably tripled it too. I'm gonna be honest with you. They probably tripled the money that they made back. That's damn. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's insane. That is that is crazy. Although their fake videos and materialism are pretty minor when compared to their sketchy family history. In March 2021, the royal yeah, that didn't okay. The 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 buying the buying the item stuff doesn't seem like a big deal. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't I don't know, but. Damn. Yeah, okay, I am not Farron's father. Okay, this is kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. This this is weird. See, the last couple of ones that I just saw clips of were like, okay, like, whatever. But th this is the weird shit. This is Realty weird. Realty family uploaded a video titled, oh, I am not Farron's nah. father, truth revealed, in which the dad Ali Bro. explained that he was actually Farron's stepdad. I'm not his biological dad, but I consider myself as his dad. I love him to death. He's like my son. I treat him like my son. At around the same point in time, Farron's biological father came forward to state that he'd been locked out of his son's life for over four years, which was followed by him appearing on the Dad Challenge podcast, where he'd completely exposed the family. He'd state that the mother, Andrea, was a former adult film star who fled to the USA after getting into trouble what? with a group of drug dealers in South America. After what? she and the biological dad moved to the USA, she cancelled the biological dad's visa, forcing him to return to South America, then began cheating on the biological dad with Ali after the two met in a gym. The son, Ferran, has no idea that any of this even happened as he's completely forbidden from going on the internet. Tehran is completely and utterly Wow. No, wait a minute. This bitch was a whore and got caught with some drug dealers. She she can't go back there though. Can she? Has she been back there? This is this is, we're talking about South America, right? Damn, bro. I, I definitely will never go to Mexico or South America, bro, because I'm just too terrified. I've been hearing about the murders, about how they be murdering like random Americans and shit. So I'm definitely never going to Mexico nor South America. The only place I do want to go is Japan and I think the UK, um, you know, like London, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, I want to go over there one day, some maybe one day. I don't know, England. Those are the two places I want to go. Japan and England. That's it. No China. No South America. No, no, none of that shit. I want to go to Hawaii and Brazil. That's those are like those, the four of those I do want to go to. But South America and Mexico. Fuck those places because clearly them motherfuckers do not want you there. <laughs> good. Eh, I'm good. But damn, this is sad as fuck. Ali never allowed on the internet. Ali blocks him from every incoming anything. He's not allowed to have a phone with the internet. Now nah, you got to be a terrible mother to block out your biological father for like four years. That's insane.
on it. And therefore the parents simply tell Ferran that the biological dad is crazy. Although if you take this, add some scams, poor financial decisions, and a severe case of bankruptcy, <gasps> you'll likely end up with the Ace family. Similar to the oh, yeah, Ace family, family, the Ace family gained close to 20 million subscribers by throwing money around in pursuit of the perfect family image. It began with the husband, Austin, purchasing a Jeep for his wife, Catherine's birthday. Although within only 18 months of doing so, this had escalated into buying Lamborghinis and flexing their mansion. Throughout the process, they were exposed for renting despite having claimed they bought the property. Although it'd be when they did actually buy their own mansion that their channel completely fell apart. I don't understand why people need to feel like to lie when they never rent to the place. Like, I'm not ashamed of saying I rent to the place. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with renting a house? It's cheaper. Like, like I don't, I don't see what's wrong with that. Like, why do you, why do people have to feel like they have to buy a whole house to feel good? I, I don't understand. I don't get that. Ace family essentially found two separate houses, ripped out the insides and combined them together, creating a 12 bedroom, 13 bathroom mega mansion. It cost them over $10 million to buy the property in an area where very few sold for more than 2 million, Shit. made worse when it was shown that they'd financed the entire purchase. The McBrooms took out a hard money loan of $8.85 million from Five Arch Funding Corp and another $1 million loan from TMK Development LLC, who I'm assuming is also a hard money lender. Hard money loans are expensive loans used by house Flippers that almost always have a one-year payback term. They're considered expensive because the borrower typically pays multiple points at closing and an interest rate of 10 to 12% on an interest-only loan. To pay off their mm. loans, Austin hosted a boxing event called Social Gloves, which he estimated would make between 200 and 500 million dollars. Damn. And that fell flat on his ass too. Jesus Christ, that shit was a disaster. Instead, it sold only 136,000 pay-per-view subscriptions at between 50 dollars oh. each, meaning that at an absolute maximum, the event made no more than $12 million or 17 times less than the estimated figure. You know where he fucked up at? Description is in. Look at the prices. That's where he fucked up at. He should have made this low. This should have been lowered. He should have lowered that. That's where he fucked up. He probably could have made more. But even then, if he made like a hundred grand, I mean, damn. I mean, that. I mean, not a hundred grand, but uh, like, if he sold like a hundred thousand subscriptions, like, that's that that was that's still yeah, that's still not good. That's not even close to whatever these numbers are. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, that's nowhere near close. Oh, God damn. ...at between $50 and $90 each, meaning that at an absolute maximum, the event made no more than $12 million or 17 times less than the estimated figure. Oh, For he already reason, said it. Was he already said the thing. I'm done. ...fighters made worse when he was sued by the event's organizer for $100 million. This would then accompany 11 other lawsuits relating to previous rental properties and Catherine's makeup line, doing so much damage to their finances, they could no longer afford their mortgage. In mid-2021, it was announced that their makeup they are in debt debt bro mega mansion was going into foreclosure after which they'd upload a video titled our house story in which they'd spend over an hour blaming the developer for building the house incorrectly before stating this and we're probably gonna get like five more houses in the next 10 years like we'll, we'll we're gonna invest we're gonna get more homes and more homes and more homes however the Lady, don't you have a bra? I'm sorry. I had to say Ace it. Family I... have made no such <laughs> comeback as things have only gotten worse. When we covered the Ace Family back in November 2021, their channel was still doing 10 million views per month. However, this number has since dropped to less than 2 million as a result of an almost non existent upload schedule. The Ace Family tried to redeem themselves by hosting a festival called Ace Fest, which attendees called underwhelming, before they'd announce a car giveaway, which was then debunked as a scam by Atosi in this video. The current state of the Ace family is best summarized by the dislike ratio on their most Damn. recent video, although even then they still look perfect in comparison to Daddy05. The family began on YouTube by playing fairly oh. innocent pranks on each other, however as time progressed the parents- Didn't someone get arrested? I, or something. And seemed to realize that the more extreme the prank, the more views they'd get. With this in mind, the parents began to fish for increasingly severe reactions. Get her as mad as she could possibly get her. I'll end it, but let's see how mad you can get her. While realizing that not every kid in the family was worth pranking equally. Emma cannot be pranked. When we do prank her, 
She has like no reaction to it. While they couldn't get a reaction out of Emma, Cody was the exact opposite and would always give a highly emotional response in every single video. For this reason, he was heavily picked on by the parents, which would peak with a now infamous video titled The Invisible Ink Prank, where the parents basically accuse Cody of something he didn't do, then yell at him until he's- Oh, I remember this shit. And he was screaming his fucking head off, this poor child, dude. This, this kid's mentally traumatized for life. Crying in the corner. With comments such as, these people are just sick and evil. Nothing but a bunch of sadists. Yeah. They severely traumatize the children. I'm so s It's sadist, by the way, but okay. Scared for all those kids. It's no surprise that the parents then try to convince the audience that the prank had been set up. I don't care anymore. Videos are fake. They're fake. They're over-exaggerated. Some videos are scripted. Some videos, I mean, they're just played out. However, just a few days prior, the parents had said something different to Keemstar. Are these videos 100% real? Right. The, the videos were not fake, but some some things are a little exaggerated. After which the family removed every single video from their channel, excluding a formal apology in a desperate bid to win back their audience. This has been the absolute worst week of our life and we realized that we have made some terrible parenting decisions. But with comment after comment along the lines of, worst week of our life? Yeah, you gave them damage for their whole lives. You're disgusting. It seemed their viewers were done watching and the audience wasn't the only thing that the family was set to lose. Oh, they lost custody. Old sister Emma were both removed from the home and at least temporarily placed with their biological mother, Rose Hall. Emma and Cody are with me. I have emergency custody. As mentioned, Cody and Emma were both. Oh, wait, they were. Oh, they were adopted? Both taken and returned to their biological mother, after which an article was posted reading Controversial Daddy 05 YouTubers sentenced to probation for prank videos with their kids. It explained that each of the parents had been charged with two counts of neglecting a minor, after which YouTube made the choice to permanently delete Daddy 05's channel. With nowhere else to go, they began posting videos to their own website behind a $5 paywall, although they <laughs> Just continue the practice with the <laughs> message. In order to move on with the healing process from the 2017 events, we have agreed willingly to remove our videos from even this site. For the sake and well-being of our family, Mike and I feel it is best that we take a long break from the public spotlight. They returned to YouTube in 2019 with a new channel called The Martin Family, although with an average dislike ratio of Oof. around 75%, Yikes. it seems their social media future is as dead as fried chicken. Even Pretty then, Daddy 05 is <laughs> lucky to have chicken. a life outside of prison, as the eight Passengers Family Channel recently landed its founder behind bars. Eight Passengers was created by Ruby and Kevin Frankie back in early 2000. Oh, this was the bitch that got arrested like just recently, right? And then the sister was like, oh yeah, I've been waiting for this shit to happen for a long time. Or something like that, right? Is this, is this one? Where they Ruby began one? to share videos of yep. their unique life as a Mormon family of eight. They'd post videos doing everything from sports to parties. However, the audience quickly noticed that whenever the kids did anything wrong, the parents always gave an unreasonable level of punishment. For example, when her six-year-old daughter failed to make her own lunch before school, the mother punished the daughter by refusing to bring her food, despite being asked by the teacher. I responded and just said, Failed to make her own lunch. First off, who, what, what child makes their own? lunch at that young of an age isn't it supposed to be like the parents my, my dad and my mom made my lunch all the time before going to school what the fuck what type of shit that's some bullshit eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning so the natural outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry hopefully nobody gives her food and nobody steps in and gives her a lunch later stating in a different bitch <laughs> what not nah, did my ears did not just Listen to the to the nonsense that I just heard. Oh, oh hell no, nah. <laughs> bro! What? Nah, she's crazy. What the fuck? No way! Wow, what a terrible mother. That, that is absolutely awful. Video, my kids are literally starving. I hesitate to say this because this is going to sound like I'm a mean barbarian, but I told the kids, I said, I'm not even going to let you eat breakfast until you get your chores done. When these punishments failed to achieve the parents' desired what outcome, they shit? up the ante by refusing presents to their two youngest kids on Christmas. Nah. This year, they are not going to be visited by Santa. Christmas morning, their four older siblings will be getting Christmas presents to open and that they will have the gift of love love from their dad and I because we want them to really have a visceral experience that 
hits them. Which was in addition to their oldest son sleeping on a beanbag for seven months as punishment for playing one single prank. My bedroom was taken away for seven months and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. I don't think our viewers know that. Noticing a pattern of overly strict parenting, a change.org petition was launched reading, get eight passengers Ruby Frankie what under investigation fuck? for child abuse, after which multiple videos were published documenting the family's controversial history. Damn, this has been going on for years. So this, those so those kids were like suffering for like, damn, for a while. That that's a damn shame. Yeah. As a result, their viewership evaporated by over ninety percent, and by two thousand and twenty-three, the channel was struggling to gain a million views per month. Ruby had also grown tired of being criticized by the public, making the choice to permanently delete the channel on the second of August two thousand and twenty-three. However, this wouldn't be the end of the eight passengers saga. The oldest daughter, Cherie, had always been outspoken about her family's parenting style, and would post this image to her Instagram story, showing police and the caption. Finally, only four weeks after the channel was deleted. It was then revealed that the mother had been arrested for aggravated child abuse after the 12-year-old son had been found emaciated and malnourished with open wounds and duct tape around the extremities. The condition of the juvenile was so severe that they were seen by Sam What the fuck? Ivan's EMS. What the what, what, whoa this <laughs> what? This nigga was skins and bones? Without food? Oh, and transported no. to a local area hospital. Ruby Frankie is currently being held in jail awaiting trial. Ah, oh, damn, bruh. So she was just a shitty mom. She was a shitty mom. That is terrifying. Well, good God that I grew up with some good parents because that sounds completely awful. <laughs> like I said, I don't really know much about the family channel situation, but yeah, those those were some really terrible individuals. Jesus freaking Christ. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I am out of here. I think I've spoken enough during the video. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm peacing out, y'all. Peace.